This is a brief tutorial of My Font Book. My Font Book is a font viewer that can be found at myfontbook.com. The My Font Book font viewer is much like an installed font viewer, except it's free and there's nothing to install. It allows you to browse all your currently installed system fonts and find a suitable typeface for your design quickly. Currently we're looking at the Swatch View. The Swatch View has all your fonts listed by name and rendered in that typeface. We can zoom out on the Swatch View by using the zoom control. And now we see more fonts on the page. There's also a list view on my font book, which gives you a little bit larger sample of each font. Heading back to the swatch view, I can select a font. Let's take cracked. And the waterfall is rendered in that typeface. I can also tag the font to better organize my collection. This is kind of a grungy font, so I'll create a new tag called grunge which has been added to my navigation viewer, and I'll tag the font. You'll notice that the tag appears here in the font information window, and I can click this X to remove the tag. I can also rate the font. We'll give this one three stars. After rating the font, it'll show up in my favorites view if it has a rating of three stars or more. Let's display all our fonts once again. After selecting a font and having it appear in the waterfall, I can change the sample text. The sample text is also applied to the list view. You can also adjust the sample text you could make it uppercase, for example. You could make it bold or italic. After selecting a font, you may also print a proof sheet. The proof sheet gives you some examples of that font rendered as both headers and as body text. If you know the font you're looking for, you can easily search for it. The viewer window below offers some interesting options. There's a glyph viewer. The glyph viewer shows commonly used characters of that font, including special characters. If I were to click on one of these special characters, it also provides an HTML equivalent string that you could copy and paste into a web page. The body text view offers a glimpse of that font rendered as a paragraph. This can be useful to decide if the font is readable in small print. Currently I'm operating in demo mode, which is the default. You don't have to register to use my font book, though if you do register, your tags will be saved as well as your ratings, which will improve your experience in the future. If you head over to myfontbook.com, you can test drive the tool yourself. We're constantly adding new features to the product and we would like your input. So if you have an idea for a feature or you're having any sort of problems, please contact us and we'd be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more updates in the future.